What is a personal brand? Why do you need that? Why do you need to do personal branding? Why we should care about personal branding? If you are a freelancer, but even if you are an entrepreneur or you run a business, perhaps a local business, I'm pretty sure you still need to understand what branding is and how you can leverage your personal branding to explode your business and essentially grow your revenues and grow your popularity in a specific area. After all, when we say Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, we certainly refer to personal branding. Come on, man, what you're talking about? Personal brands. Even though they run big corporations, big companies and we're talking about Amazon Tesla as soon as I say the name you visualize that person in your mind and that's the power of branding that's the power of personal branding on this video we're gonna cover the main aspects and the main important strategies that will help us to do this enjoy the journey According to Neil Patel, a major digital marketing expert in the space, personal branding is the process of intentionally creating and influencing your public perception. This is done by positioning you as an authority in an industry or differentiating yourself from the competition and increasing your reputation. Personal branding is by far the best way to show your uniqueness and your specialties. And it's no longer something related just to celebrities, you can benefit from this powerful marketing strategy right away. These days, anyone can gain recognition online by growing a personal brand. And listen carefully, a personal brand exists whether or not you create it for yourself. When you publish a blog post, for example, you're revealing aspects of your personality to the people who will come across that at some point in the future. Your personal brand develops around the content you post, either on social media or anything else you are involved with. Let's start digging into the matter. So as soon as I say branding, I'm referring to everything is said about you. So in other words, as Jeff Bezos once said, personal brand is what other people say when you are not in the room. What do they think? What do they perceive? What's the impact you make? This is what we refer when we speak about personal branding and branding in general. It is very much necessary to establish a relationship with your potential customers to get to know you in the area that you want to work because otherwise you have no business options. People tend to do business with people they know and trust. These are the two most important factors to establish a personal brand. If you want to have an authority on them, if you want to be established as the go-to person, then number one choice really you need to develop a personal branding you know there is no way around it when we think about apple coke uh, Coca-Cola, Red Bull, you know, we think about companies, but we also think about the experiences that these companies, these brands are able to, to give us. We live emotions, we live experiences. And uh, when we hear the sound of our MacBook turning on, when we, you know, just open up a Coke or I don't know, whatever experience you want to use an ex as an example, we are able to identify something. And um, for each of us, it's gonna be different. And companies do know about this and companies do strive to create experiences to invest in marketing campaigns that can you know leverage their branding and you know essentially capitalize on their efforts because the stronger your brand is the stronger the results and performances will be in your market i made an example of big big huge companies yeah but this is all down on a scale to your local business as well if you want to be known if you want to be trusted you need to have a brand if this is the situation with a personal branding that is well taken care you definitely have a chance you know differentiate yourself from the competition what do we do if we do all the same thing you know, Know, the same approach on the market we have you know the same way of thinking well it's gonna be a war on prices whoever has got the cheapest price is gonna win but if we are able to put our own personalities first if we are able to differentiate because of our uniqueness you know as human beings we are unique we have a unique set of skills we have a unique way of talking a unique way of thinking
you know, it depends on you. If you wanted to become successful in this and do a strong personal branding activity, you definitely need to think about your positioning. You definitely need to think about why people are going to choose you over others. Why should I choose you instead of the competition? What's your strength? What do you do different? What's your unique way of conducting work? What's gonna be setting you apart from the competition? It can't be price. This is just a piece of the pie. The majority would be interested in other things, like personality. Why do you follow someone like Matt Davella on YouTube? Or perhaps, I don't know, Peter McKinnon instead of me? All the people say that they are good, so more people will follow them. The first word in the phrase personal brand is personal. Now, add an IT to it, drop the brand, and that's what it really means. We as professionals, like I am a marketing manager for real estate agents, I used to be a real estate agent. What I want is to solve people's problems. And the only way I can do this is through experience, work, work, work every day on this and therefore leave my results to talk. And I can get a leverage on this through the reviews I'm receiving from my clients, through what they say when I'm not in the room. So that's very important. The last piece of information is that you need time. You need time to develop your personal branding and everything starts with some theory. You need to sit down, you need to pick up a piece of paper and a pen and write down, or perhaps your computer if you prefer it, write down what makes you different, what it is that other people will uh, prefer against someone else. This is very important. Do not underestimate it. And then you need to decide who you want to talk. So just decide who your target audience is, where they come from, how old they are, where do they go, what social platforms do they use, where do they spend their time, what sport they follow. You know, you need to align yourself with your target audience. Work on something that is gonna be attracting the people best suited for your business needs. Certainly, you need a set of information, the main pillars of your strategy. Put authenticity first, tell stories, what you do, how do you do it, what you do for your clients, how you were able to solve their problems. That's all for today. If you enjoy this content and contents like this, let me know, smash the like button or let me know in the comments below what you think about it and if you want to give me any advice on the next contents you would like me to produce for you just let me know I will really 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 appreciate that if you want to know more about implementation and strategies for your personal branding go check this video out it will unleash the full power and you will be able to dominate your market through a content strategy related to personal branding oh.